So today I need to make, uh, put some stamps onto some cardstock for my craft club class. So I'm going to be doing the same uh, card for every member of the club. So I just received my Crafters Companion um, stamping platform where it has these little uh, legs, <clears throat> excuse me, and the legs fit exactly in these holes so that if I need to stamp and I didn't get it quite right and I need to stamp again, it'll go down in the exact same place. So I've put on the different stamps I want to use and I want to make sure that I have enough space in between them because we're going to take them over to our, the uh, scanning cut and we're going to cut either different shapes or the shape of the cat, say, um, at, for, for practice on our scanning cut. So I've cut a bunch of um, cardstock to about 8 inch and let me move this out of the way. And so that I can fit it in the platform area. And I've placed my magnets. I'm not sure if you can see if I put this back. I think you can. So I've placed my magnets out here so I know I can just come forward into a spot where there is no stamp. And I want one on each side. So when I take one cardstock off and put another one on, I just put the magnet out um, next to where I would bring it onto the cardstock. So I'm just going to put each one of my magnets down. I think that one can come over a little further. And that's going to hold my cardstock in place so that when I stamp, because the ink is a little sticky, when I stamp down, I don't want the cardstock to come up with my stamping. So I'm going to ink up the stamp, so I'm turning my, my uh, platform over. And I have some um, Crafters Companion Harmony. This is quick dry, and I'm just using jet black. And I'm going to stamp, um, ink up each stamp. And, and I'm not a professional, so everybody may have their different way of doing it. But I kind of go around twice to make sure I've got it. Especially on something like this cat, because it's... Um, it's a solid part of the stamp. And I just leave my stamp cover upside down and I just place it back in that way. So I should be ready to stamp. And all these marks I make, I haven't figured out how to do it without that. They won't, uh, they won't touch the card because the stamps are thicker, so that part of the platform, <clears throat> excuse me, the platform won't come down. So when I, when I put the platform back down, when it's in those little um, uh, grooves here, so you can see it here, they, uh, they don't move around. So let me just stamp down, and I'm going to make sure that I press, I'm holding it down, but I'm pressing with my other hand just to make sure I get all the little areas because it is uh, the little legs are spring loaded so they do it will bounce right back up and then we'll see how it looks so see my boo didn't come out the best my falls a little off so I'm just going to um, stamp my boo again, and I might as well just go around and do them all. And it could be that I didn't press down in that spot, or it could be I didn't ink it well in that spot, but it'll be fine because the stamp, the platform, goes right back in place. And I make sure my little Crafters Companion uh, logo is down in this bottom right corner so I don't 
put it because I could put it on I could turn it and put it on Ron and then I'm just going to stamp again And I'm working around my little camera here, so you wouldn't have that issue. And then, so everybody looks good, so I'm going to set my platform aside for a second. I'm going to take my magnets off. And again, see, I'm taking them off and just sliding them off where they need to go. And I'm just going to get my next sheet, put that one on. Bring my magnets in, and I've got to be careful because I know I just touched something and I got, see, I got a little black on me, so I don't want to get black on my cardstock. And I'm going to bring my platform back in, and I can really just set it here while I ink. I don't have to hold it. And when I'm all done, I just take the whole platform right over to my sink and I just run it under the water and all that ink where I got all over the place um, just rinses right off and I just leave it to dry. And it rinses off the um, all the stamps at the same time. Let's see if I can do a little bit better job this time. And again, I'm in, I'm in those little grooves, so you can see this doesn't move at all. And I just lift it off. That one looks really good. Oh, now look, see, my tree isn't the best. So I'm going to ink my tree up again. Put the little feet in the grooves. And just come in and And now my tree looks perfect. And I'm going to continue on doing that. I have quite a few of them to do. But I just wanted to show you. Looks like I, got, I, I don't know how you avoid that. I'm just not good at that, I guess. Um, I just wanted to show you. I've got the new platform where you can stamp over and over again in the, in the same places for any time that you're not sure you're getting enough. Or even if you want it a little darker. Um, and how I move my magnets out, I just slide them out so that I know they're gonna they're not gonna be in the way when I'm doing something that I'm doing the same of uh, a lot of the same thing. So that's my little project for today. Okay, so I got um, my pile of um, cardstock all stamped, and I just want you to see what a mess I've made of that. So all that black, and that's all um, the quick dry ink. So I'm going to take it over to the sink, just give it a rinse, and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, I moved my card out of, cards out of the way so they wouldn't get wet. But you can see, I just ran it under, excuse me, sorry about the light. I just ran it under the um, running water. I didn't have to scrub or anything, and everything's all cleaned off. And I'm just going to leave the stamps right on that. I'm trying to get in a place where you don't get so much light. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to leave that to dry. I've got to come back here and now clean up my mess. And I just want you to know that it might not be permanent or quick dry in here, but it was quick dry on my finger, but it won't, um, you know, it's not going to come off onto anything. So I just have to clean up my area and sort up my cards from my students and I'll be all set. Have a great day.